Today we're going to be doing a problem string with fractions, and this one's going to be a little bit different than the ones that we have done previously. This one we're going to be looking at an array. So here we have an array of 24, so it's a 4 by 6 array. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to find a, finding different fractions of this value. So the first one I want you to look at is 1, sorry, no, it is 1 half of 24. So go ahead and find 1 half of the 24 rectangles that we have here. The main ways that the students found one half is they either cut the array in half this way and had a four by three array and another four by three array. So this one would be four times three and this one would be four times three. And then there were 12 counters in each one. Another way that they did it is they cut it in half horizontally and they had a two by six array and this one would also be a 2 by 6 array. So that each of them was 2 by 6, and each of them also had 12. So no matter which way we did it, we still had 12 for our 1 half of 24. So 1 half of 24 is equal to 12. For our next one, what I want you to do is I want you to find 1 third of 24. To find one third of 24, students did it mainly with splitting up the columns, the six columns in two groups of three. So here you can see my one third, two thirds, and then my three thirds. So I can see that this is a four by two array, and this one's also a four by two, and this one's also a four by two. And that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and each of these fours. So here's our one fourth. Another way that students did it is they cut it in thirds this way or flip-flopped and they had a two by four array going horizontal and then the last one was vertical and there was still eight in each of the second sections so one third of 24 gave us eight. Now let's look at the next one. Next one I want you to do two thirds of 24. What do you notice? So here I have my thirds, and if I want two thirds, I would take two of the three sections. And here if I have my thirds, and I want two thirds, I'm gonna again take two of my three sections. So then two thirds is eight plus eight to give me 16. The next one that we're going to do, flip it over so that we can have a relationship between them. Next one that we're gonna do is one fourth of 24. So go ahead and find one fourth of 24. To do fours, mainly the students cut it with the different rows, and so then we have a one by four array for each one, and we have, this isn't a one by four, one by six array, so then we have six in each of the fours. Another way that they did it is they cut it vertically and then horizontally, and they still had six in each of the fours. What is the way that you are finding the fraction of 24? Is there a key way that you're doing it, that you're thinking of it? Go ahead and tell me now. The next one that we're gonna do is 1 8th of 24. So with our 1 8th of 24, I have my force and I can just cut my force in half. So there's my force in half, and I can see that there's three in these. What relationship or connections do you notice between the 1 8th of 24 and the 1 4th of 24? Another way that students did it is they got creative. And they're like, okay, Look at all these one-thirds.
It didn't matter which way you did it, just as long as there was three in each section. So now what we're going to do is we are going to look at three-fourths of 24. What would three-fourths of 24 look like? Here we have our force, or our force, and we're going to find three force. So that would be one fourth, two force, three force that we have here, or one fourth, two force, three force that we have right here. What is the connection between this three force and the other problems that we have already done? and three-fourths is equal to 18 twenty-fourths. The next problem that we are going to do is seven-eighths, oh my. So seven-eighths of 24. Go ahead and look at that, and I want you to tell me what is seven-eighths of 24. So if we look at our seven-eighths, we have our 24 split into our eight pieces, and now instead of taking one of them, we're going to take seven of them. So here's one group, and then we have seven groups. So I can see that seven, seven eighths is gonna be three plus 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 three to give us 21. Our next problem that I want you to try is one six of 24. So go ahead and solve one six of twenty four. Oh, you can't see that one. So there we have one six of twenty four. Go ahead and solve that. So what we can do here is we can split it up into our six groups, and we are going to take one of those six groups. We can see that one of those six groups is four. And the next one is going to be 5, 6 of 24. How did you do 5, 6 of 24? Well, students in class said, well, we have our six groups, and we want five of those six groups. So here's one group, two, three, four, five. There's five, six, and each of them has four counters in it. So then we have 20 out of the 24. Were there any tricks or shortcuts that you did to help you find these fractions of the whole? If so, let me know.